The way we see Linda Ronstadt in the movie version of the Pirates of Penzance is perhaps not the picture we have of her from her press coverage. Grace, thy steps retrace. But Linda and co-stars Kevin Klein and Rex Smith found that working together in the Broadway production that eventually became the movie brought out qualities that the corrupt world of show business usually won't accommodate. It's, it's interesting, I mean, for me, because I'd never acted before, but, but what it seemed to me was uh, you, you take a little tiny facet of your own personality, whatever, however uh, minute or, or grand it may be, and, and just allow that to shine exclusively for a, for a period of time every night, because um, everybody's a lot of people, you know, and um, I'm certain that sometime in my life there was some guilelessness back there, maybe when yeah. I was four or five, I had to call it back up again and say, okay, it's your turn again. But Linda lives so much of her life very much in a, in a whole, I mean, she's very much into architecture and stuff. She, she can she can go nuts over molding in the ceiling like <laughs> nobody and there's so many parts for her there's so much like Mabel in terms of there, there, it's not like some huge image makeover I mean in terms of personality I don't think from Mabel I think there's a heck of a lot of that in her that was just she was just able to much romantic. she just doesn't get to, she, if she could run around in Victorian clothes she'd probably run around in I do little, run around in Victorian clothes well you do clothes. Yes. my that's, costume that's, came from my closet as a matter of fact it's one of the other my slip is made. Victorian that's the only thing Linda Ronstadt shows us a different side of herself in the Pirates of Penzance even though she's won one award after another for her music press coverage has tended to focus on her relationship with former California Governor Jerry Brown when I spoke with Linda and two other stars of Pirates, she admitted to mixed feelings about the way the publicity mill turns her private life public. Anything you do tends to become uh, news. You ever wish you could just sort of shut off the publicity? And you, you, de you, depend, up you depend upon it for your career, but does it get in the way? I, I sometimes wish I could have another name, you know, that was my own name that, that didn't go out to the world, or that, that we had the two form in our language. Because there's not a... Uh, so many people get to think they get to know you on an intimate basis that you, you, you sometimes feel like you have nothing of intimacy left to share with the people that you're close to. You know, so it would be nice to, if we had the and thou, I think. Do you think that you could ever uh, get away from that? or No, I don't think so. It's part of the job. I mean, you do find private, you do find private things to do with people, and you find private ways to, to spend your time and enjoy yourself, but it's, it's getting harder. It's has, getting harder, harder. Has there ever been a time where you felt that it just wasn't worth it, what you've gotten? Uh, what you've gotten in your career for what it, uh, the way it intrudes into your life? Occasionally I've thought that, but I, I, I have nothing, no, see there's nothing to compare it to. I have no, I, I don't have another, a parallel life that I could compare it to, you know, where I went happily to work as a waitress or something like that, you know. So, I, I'm sure things could have worked out much more, worse for me, you know. I mean, I'm not, not complaining, but, but it, it, it's, it's not, you know, all rosy either. <laughs> In New York, Stuart Rosenthal, Channel 2 News. Sit here and have 15 minutes to talk to uh, three really spectacular performers.